Hi everyone, welcome to a new spoken tutorial. I'm going to show you how I created this flat illustration of a Mona Lisa taking a break. Let's see it. So the first thing I will show you is, oh, how cute. <laughs> I forgot to group this. So the first thing I'm going to show you is my image that I took um, as a reference, which is the Leonardo da Vinci's um, Mona Lisa picture. And I also use this other image from another artist I will link down in the um, description just to guide me through the whole of the creation. So I took a little bit of this, a little bit of that, I came out with this new different um, illustration. So mainly I'm going to be using this one <coughs> to create the outline and well to create all the, the shape of the Mona Lisa. So first thing I do is lock it so it doesn't move. Next I select the pen tool, clicking P on my keyboard and I'm going to get rid of the fill and make it a color that I can clearly see while I draw. So I start tracing. Something like this. Now, as you can see, it's very rough and I'm gonna need to add some notes, for example here. And of course, I'm gonna have to make some tweaks because, well, this is just a, a guide for me to, to start doing things. For example, one of the first things I, ne I need to do is just make this more roundy, like in here. So I take the corner tool and I apply it here. Go back to A, which is the knot tool, and I'm going to hmm, I'm going to add some more notes in here by clicking on it. I'm gonna click zoom so you can see it better. Another one here, and another one here, and another one here, another one here. Why am I doing this? Well, mainly because now I can just go and make some. Yeah. Changes to the hair of the Mona Lisa. Another one here. Something like this. And maybe another one here. Yeah. So I go like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see this one. Opa. Let's see this one here. Yeah. So we have a little bit of the curls, it's not exactly the same, but you know, it's more to show you how we go about, as I always say. So we have this in here now, um, I would like the shoulder to be a little bit more prominent, so probably what I'm going to do is manipulating here a bit, something like this, something like that, now I touch this one here. Important now to make this corner here rounded, so I'll just go something like this. I don't think that will be seen because we're gonna have the hand on top of it, so I don't really care about it too much. This corner I don't like um, because it's baked, see here, that means I cannot use the corner tool in it, see, I can only use it in the um, nodes that have this little square which means they are uh, an angle, they're creating an angle. So I cannot use it and I don't like the way it looks. So I'm going to try to manipulate it a bit by hand. And if I don't like it, I will probably just transform it into a sharp node. Now I can use the baking tool, uh, sorry, the corner tool to just make it a little bit more like I want it. Okay. And those are things that it's good to know because they allow you to manipulate your segments with much more freedom, with much more, more freedom, sorry. Okay, so now we have this. Uh, it's very important to note that uh, this shape has to be closed because we want to fill it up. If we don't close the shape, well, there's no way to, to fill it up with color. So important to just create something that is completely closed. Now I'm going to put a color to it. And first off, of course, I have to select it. Let's put this color, for example, and let's get rid of the yellow color. 
to make it black something like this because i need to still see through i'm gonna click for example number four in my keyboard it's gonna make the shape uh, transparent to a 40 percent as you can see here and the next thing i'm going to do is creating the little face for the little face i take this and uh, this is the rounded rectangle tool and i go like this and i pull from the orange little dot telling me that i can manipulate it okay we've seen this also in other tutorials uh, for the color of the face mm, something more natural and lighter something like this would be okay i'm gonna manipulate this also in such a way that the face it's proportionate with the rest of the body okay something like this i'm gonna give it 60 percent so i see a bit better good so the next thing i'm going to do is creating the the neck and the chest area so for that again p for the pen tool and now mm, well here i just corrected it a little bit more so instead of following that shape I click shift and create the first line now I come here approximately something like this and next one how am I gonna do it something like this now this is too wide for this face so I'm gonna have to tweak it I move it like this mm -hmm. more or less there let's just put it there and let's close like this now i click the face command copy its properties and paste it by paste it in the chest area by command shift v and i put it below the face something like this again i need to correct this i'm gonna get rid of this so you see better see there is a gap in here so i don't want that i'm gonna move the face so they are perfectly aligned like so I take the chance also to move a little bit this area here, probably this area here, something like this. Good, so I'm more or less happy with it. Now I am going to create the hands. That's the next thing I want to create. Okay, so I click beep. And I go over this, my reference. Mm, I miss this finger here, now that I see, I see it, but anyways. The most important thing here is to see how to go about it. And you create your little details on a final stage. So very important, I did it wrong. I click here and I make it a bit longer than it really is. I will explain why. Okay, so I go like this. I go like this. Next one. No, a bit longer, I said. Just rough segments with uh, straight lines. Don't worry if they are not looking perfect now. I'm using this method we saw in one of my other tutorials where when you're not a master of the pen tool, it's very easy for beginners to use this method. It works perfectly. Um, so go and check it if you want because it's my most successful tutorial so far i am very sure many people is taking um, good lessons from it because well you know as i said if you're not uh, knowing how to use the pen tool this method really helps you out so let's let's see how it works so as you can see here no, you cannot really see it. Now, you can see here that all these um, fingers are very pointy. That's not very natural. You can also see here that these lines are very um, straight. So what we're going to do now is click A for the knot tool. And even though now we have these um, straight lines, we can manipulate them to make them a bit more natural. We don't want them to be realistic. This is an illustration, no? and it's a flat illustration so it doesn't really need to be very naturalistic just enough as to look good so why was i doing the fingers longer than they are well because i don't want the, the fingers to be so pointy so what i'm going to do now it's 
go to the corner tool or click C in your keyboard and well, I'm gonna put the reference there and I'm gonna make it in yellow so you see it better now what I want to do with the corner say what I want to do with the corner tool which is this one is making this little fingers more roundy for some reason and here is not working probably because it's when you see okay okay so yeah now it's working just tweaked it a little bit good so now i come back to my no, let's copy paste the attributes of the outline for this and now we change here and copy this color we use for the skin in here okay it's semi-transparent because i did it like so so you could so i could see through now i take again this i had it already selected and i apply, apply it here so the hand is more natural and we have our little hand finished see sometimes well um, the ideal thing would be to keep the same uh, width for all the strokes in this illustration but if for some reason you find it a little bit too thick like i did here it just made it a little bit thinner like the ones inside the the clothes that's up to you to decide how you like it um again i'm not happy with this so i go like this good now the second hand so p again and let's just go something like this a bit longer as i said before i'm not gonna do it exactly opa exactly as it is mm -hmm. no again like this and i need to get closer because otherwise i don't see click p now you go like this and no uh, like this sorry and again no mm -hmm. something like this i'm just a freestyle here just a little bit freestyle because as i say this is not an hyperrealistic drawing so i don't really need to follow along all the lines i see good let's check copy attributes paste them like so i put this hand on top and let's see how it looks not too bad as i say as i said before i find this stroke quite too thick for the hands so let's make ah, the stroke is here so let's let's make it how much was it seven let's make it five and the same for this one five we'll see if i keep it like that or what oh um, now the next thing i need to do is go back to layers put my reference there and i want to trace these lines for the clothes so click in p and trace your lines as you like them to be again well i'm kind of following the opa i'm kind of following the reference but not totally opa, following it jesus now so mm, something like this I'm gonna copy paste it and I'm gonna no I'm gonna move its uh, center point the rotation center I'm gonna put it here just to show you at least another one little useful way of working something like this so I have two lines now and the next one no yeah and the next one i'm also copying the center point is already here because i moved it as you saw mm, no i don't want it there actually i don't want this one so low because i want the i need the the arm to come marked here with that line so uh, i'm gonna yeah block this one 
this is getting in my way. I can still edit it, but just by means of moving uh, its notes. Now, if I click here, it's not gonna affect it. Okay, so it's much more comfortable to work like that. And I come here now, and I trace the segments, kind of like so. Yep. Okay. Um, I don't really see much, so I'm gonna. No, that's too much. Let's just let's just move it like this and like this, because now we need to trace this other one that comes in here. Um, actually, it's because I did this arm a little bit too high up. Um, I think I'm gonna move it down a bit, something like this, making sure it doesn't get away. And it looks good at the end. Let's see now. Now I need to trace this line in here. Let's try. No, don't like it. Let's try again. Something like this. Okay, I'm gonna tweak a bit things, which is part of, you know, the work. Tweaking things until you find exactly what you're looking for. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think this is kind of what I'm looking for. Let me see. Well, this arm is a bit fat. So I'm gonna move it a bit like this. Yo. Okay, this, 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 and this. Yeah, I'm gonna use color there in my swatches. See, like this. Okay. I don't want to waste much time tweaking things. I mean, you you see more or less how I've done it, and that's the important thing. Um, then you spend some time, obviously, you know, making things look better. Uh, polish a little bit your um, your notes and the shapes and everything. Okay, so the next one. This one it's a bit too thick too, so let's check here. And this is five. I would like this to be also a bit thinner. Five. Make sure this is perfectly fine with that. Not yet. Somewhere there. Okay, now we're going to create a little line for the cleavage. Where is my Joconda, my Mona Lisa? Um, here. Now I need to make this one something like this, something like this, so I see through. One and two here. Oop, it's a bit. <laughs> I don't know, this is the way I want it. I'm gonna make it a bit. More like this, yo. So, yeah, yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so the next thing is gonna be the face. So make it fifty transparency, fifty percent transparency. Hmm. I probably want to tweak a bit this here and this here. Okay. Click P, and let's create the eyebrows and the nose so now I don't want to make this video overly long and I want to explain many things still so I'm going to split it in two tutorials next one will be coming up very soon so stay tuned and watch the second part see you